Sabra Jawad, and I am from the tech school. I am nine years old. Hi, my name is Safa Muthman, and I'm from the tech school too. I'm 11 years old, and we're here to share our story with you, which is just like the Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> just like Lucy and her siblings discovered a magical world, a world of unknown, we too discovered a new world, a world of technology. For us, the Arduino board was like Mr. Thompson. For us, the motor star, like the talking beavers. For us, the raspberry pi is like Aslan, the lion. Just like in Chronicles of Narnia, the kids of Narnia, they had battles. We too had battles. They practiced by sword fighting and archery and magic. We practiced by controlling LEDs, motors, and sensors using Arduino. After months and months of practicing, we had battles, for example, NRF, National Robotics Festival, where we competed university students from all over the country. But unfortunately, our robots couldn't function. But next, we had another battle. The Brack University PF3 Pathfinder 3 contest, where we competed Brack University students. But unfortunately, again our robot didn't function. But with every failure comes success. We had success. And after the failures had big competition, we started seeing successes. We built and sold two line follower robots, and of course it functioned. It even got a kid second prize in the science fair competition, but he didn't even tweet a sweets for that. <laughs> Just like in the Chronicles of Narnia, the kids of Narnia, they got gifts from Santa. We too got gifts from the robotics club of Rack University's advisor, Dr. Khalil Rahman sir. He allowed Robo Seal in our certificates. Then, our first appearance at public daily newspaper Dhaka Tribune. We went down to build the Codebreaker, which is a gaming gadget as well as a game. Then the Batman's gadget, which I will show a demo of. Okay, so this is the Batman gadget. We call it the Batman gadget because just like bats use ultrasound, they send out an ultrasound um, wave and then it hits the object and receives. That's how they navigate themselves. So that's why it's called the Batman gadget. And so if pretend if I put my hand here, it makes a beeping sound. But if I remove it, it's gone. So yeah, we're gonna improve it. And right now we're using it as a gaming gadget and for like outdoor maze solving and stuff. But we're gonna improve it and hopefully use it for blind people. And also we have another idea of... <laughs> and also we have another idea of using it as like in cars. So automatically, if a car comes in front of the other car, it'll automatically stop the car. We went down to building uh, electrical appliances with hand gestures and then violins. Basically, we were looking for an artist and we have automated seven pieces of violin that play by themselves. You'll get to see them in Bengal Foundation early next year. Whether it be a motion sensor or a security system, our own completed GPS tracking device, or a hybrid car project we're currently working on, we've worked on numerous projects for the last one year as apprentices to the teachers developers of the tech school. So, when I was young, um, so I was playing this one game. Well, I am still, I'm still young, but yeah. <laughs> so when I was young, uh, I was playing this game when I was about seven or eight years old. It was a game which had lots of crafting mechanics and you would build stuff. And that sparked something in my mind which made me wanna play and build more things. So. After I got out of that game, I started building things in real life. I would, while other kids were playing with their toys, I'd be taking apart them and using the motors and just learning by myself. And when I was young, I was a total game freak. <laughs> yeah. I started playing games at the age of three. I was always fascinated about it. I was always fascinated about how the game works, how the characters move. I used to search all over the internet about it. Then I got to know there's something called coding. So yeah, looking forward more, I came up with Java, C++, Python, etc. So, and I also got to know how to create games, develop website, make software, etc. Yeah. We, just like in the Chronicles of Narnia, the kids, they entered this magical world through a magical wardrobe. Well, we enter it through a wardrobe. We enter it through our teacher, Shams and Nila of the tech school. Roll.
So my role in the tech school is we're both apprentices, but what I do is I work on the bodies, I make all the circuits, I work on the soldering and all this type of stuff. But Abra, on the other hand, he works on the coding. Uh, yeah, I'm better at programming in Java, Arduino, ID, and processing, so take care of the coding part. Today, I'll show you a few of the works I've done. So yeah, uh, have you ever thought of the Microsoft Paint program? Like how it works, how the Russian tool works? So today I'm gonna show you a very basic version of print program created by my, me. Yeah, so this is the paint program. As you know, this is what it's set up. This is a, uh, as everything you put between this brace and this uh, happens only once as a setup. So this is the background. I set it as 255 in white. And then size is 400, 400 pixels. So then white draw. It keeps on looping every time. So I say that if mouse is pressed, if the mouse is pressed and the mouse button is left, so stroke is zero. And line is mouse X, follow the mouse X, follow the mouse Y, and stuff. And then else, and if the mouse but pressed and mouse button is right, so fill with 255, and stroke is 255, that's the border, and rectangle is follow the mouse X and mouse Y with 20, 20 pixels. So this is it. <laughs> we both have big dreams. Like I want to create more games, make more software. And mostly, I want to make this world a better place to live in. It has always been my dream from my childhood that when I grow up, I become a software engineer. And I, I crave to work in software, social networking, the gaming sites such as Google, Facebook, Ubisoft, and EA. And for the tech school, I want this huge mansion where kids like me come to learn. I want to teach everything what I know, what I learned. And for the tech school, again, I want this super, I want to make this super awesome software. And I don't want anybody to ask anymore, where do I learn coding? Me, on the other hand, is I kind of have the same dreams as a briar for the tech school, but my own dreams, personally, is I don't want to work for anyone. No offense, but I want to open my own business, and I want to open my own business, and I want to build robots and like machines and gadgets, which will help people in their daily lives. I just want to change Bangladesh. And I'm hoping I can change the world. And I just don't want to go to school and then get a job and just die. <laughs> I want to be remembered. I want to be remembered in the future. And I want to be known for what I built. <laughs> Education is different in the tech school as compared to most other schools. In the tech school, the students are trained to be apprentices for the teachers and developers. So yeah, uh, all of you, just think for a second. Developers of products have to hire employees to get their projects done. So the developer need to, needs to pay the employees. So the cost of the final piece rises. But in the tech school, we get to work on uh, expensive and professional projects. And they also have to contribute the cost of the teacher contributing their, to their time. So in the tech school, we get to work on professional and expensive projects all under the cost of the buyer. Yeah. So. We would like to end by welcoming you to enter our world, the world of technology, especially the children. Come join us. Thank, Thank you. you.